Okay, hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome to Friday. Happy Friday, guys. It's the weekend. I hope you're all doing well tonight. Um, I just gotta check one thing. I had to get I had to get everything. Okay, yeah, it is. It is on the right settings. We're all good. We're all good, guys. Um, so Heather for at least this past week has been an indoor cat. Um, she's been indoors all this week. She's in some kind of uh, halfway shelter thing, I think, for um, homeless ladies who have given birth. Or just a normal shelter. She has a store and bath because she does a lot of marketing from the bath. Um, but BCG, how you doing tonight? Um, I see a lot of you guys in here. I hope you're all doing well. I see Mud Pit. Mud Pit saying there's 60 waiting on. I'm sorry, Mud Pit. I'm sorry. I had to get... Um, I had to get a bunch of stuff together. There it is. There. There we go. CD Rom. Hope you're doing well as well. Angie. Hope everybody is having a great night. Um, so yeah, there's only about like 30 minutes of Heather content. She didn't do any lives this week. She just did like her Facebook stories, Facebook stories, her uh Instagram stories. Um so we'll watch those. Uh if we still have like enough time, like if it's under two hours, I guess. I have some old clips from back in the day. Uh, Heather's been really into fitness now. She's like doing yoga and stuff, and she's being like, a, I don't know, I don't know. She's she's trying to change her image. I don't. Maybe I'll do a poll for you guys. Would you accept Heather if she actually got her shit together, or is it too late? Is it too late for you guys? Um, let me know. But I'll get this pulled up for us, and we will uh, get it rolling here. So I'm bringing this today. I already left the green blanket I crocheted, another blanket. I'm bringing more socks and pants, an extra. I have all these pacifiers and then some more breast milk. This is the load for the NICU. So, oh. all right, I was typing. I don't even know if the, the kid is. So how long do kids get? kept in the NICU forever indefinitely I don't think so right this is interesting um because uh, this is really bad screen <laughs> you can barely see what's said but um Xavier's name isn't on here anymore it's just Gillespie it's just um Weston Gillespie not Montoya anymore and I don't even see Xavier's name on this that's a red flag Xavier Xavier No, I'm not going to get this pulled on because I didn't know that I had to read stuff. So this is up updates. I'm still bringing breast milk back and supplies to baby every day. My body is in pain, but we have been pushing for six miles one way on foot or bus to drop off milk, clothes, etc. My baby's doing well, eating a ton and sleeping a ton. He passed all his marijuana. I don't know what that is. Me me Mecronium poops and is now pooping like an infant. What the fuck is she talking about? I don't know. That might be some parenting thing that I'm just not privy to. Um, plans for the rest of the weekend are to pump and rest. Uh, I'll message everyone checking in on us. How thoughtful. Now, as far as the other kids, Vivi and Lewis came to the hospital and spent the entire day with me. Um, the day after Weston was born and got to meet their brother and hold him and stuff. Um, that was great. Um, Alexis still doesn't even know that I had the baby, and I have not been able to reach Orlando since June. Um, I have gone over there and spoken with his parents. I've also gone over there and dropped off clothing and groceries every single month. Um, and her birthday gifts and her Christmas gifts have all been dropped off to her at her uh, Lella's house, her grandma. That's what she calls her, Lella. Um, so... I'm just trying to, you know, keep putting one foot in front of the other uh, with regards to that. Um, Co-parenting with a co-parent who you can't get a hold of is incredibly difficult. Not co-parenting. Um, so this is the father that I guess just doesn't put up with her shit at all. Like, this is the one that I think, I could be mistaken, um xavier had some kind of interaction with at the park so they were like no nope, no nope, fuck this no more uh getting to see homeless mom anymore because what the fuck was that um 
There was something else I was going to say. Basically, though, like, I don't know why she she continues to bother the grandmother and bring them stuff that they don't ask for. But we're doing what we can. We're five days postpartum. I have an oversupply of milk every time I have babies. I'm pumping. My tummy's gone down significantly, and we're in the... She's doing her fit checks now. Dil Dylan's Dylan's eggplant. What's going on? Postpartum girdle. I'll show you how it looks without. She's got to she's got to show us the new belly. So it's really still really soft. I like I just assumed she was talking about her and Xavier, but maybe they is turning into we. And I've noticed she's she's kind of stopped bitching a little a little bit. Um she's just grateful for everything now. Um so I don't know if she's actually maybe she's changing. I don't know. But the the inflammation. I mean, what am I saying? I don't think it's changed. <laughs> is going down. My uterus is down below my belly button, which means that it's going back to normal size. And I'm in pain, but I'm feeling okay. And then the cash app. So you know, feel feel bad for me because I just had a kid. I'm all like mushy and gushy and wushy. Um, but you can donate to me here. Hey. I've been using Cash App to send money and use, oh wait, and spend using Cash Card. Uh, try using my code and you'll get $5. Don't do this. Don't, don't get $5. This is how much breast milk I've made in, since 7.40 p.m. last night. And this is weird because she's back in the tent at this point. So like she's visiting Xavier in the tent during the day and then coming back and she's chilling by herself because... I've heard Xavier in the room with her before. So like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Do they have someone else looking after the tent? Or are they like, Bill, homeless Bill Bob, uh, we got to get off drugs if we're going to keep this kid. So we'll give you our drugs, but you got to watch all our shit. All right. The narrative, the novel, the coffee table book, uh, the piano, <laughs> you know, um, but you, you get drugs, some drugs out of it and we'll bring you breast milk. <laughs> Because there's still some uh, residual drugs in that shit. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Moonbaby, thank you for the $5. Your hairstyle matches mine at the moment. Oh, nice. Uh, I have nothing profound or special to say. I just had to thank you for covering this ratchet chancla defiler. No problem. Um, I mean, she fascinates me, so I'm happy to do it. And my hair is... I used conditioner for the first time. It's pretty, it's pretty fancy. You guys, tell me that God doesn't want me to be a mama. So if anyone... God, God does not want you to be a mama. If anyone is looking for a breast pump and you have insurance... And this is like, yeah, so people were telling her, I know BCG was at least telling her, but I've seen other people telling her as well, like in her live chats when she was like, I need money for a breast pump. And they're like, you can get it through insurance. You can get it with insurance. She finally got one through insurance. So I don't know if, if any of you, I don't know, none of you guys, but if anyone who did donate to her specifically for a breast pump, I don't know where the fuck that went. Not to this. Insurance covers electronic breast pumps right now. I got this one from the hospital. This is like a $200 breast pump. I got it brand new. So pump, 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 pump. This is my life. Water pump, water pump, water pump, water pump. But you're in a bed. Like, I imagine it's going to be very hard to go back to the tent. I mean, well, if she already went back to the tent at this point. But the more she stays indoors, I wouldn't want to go back to the tent. I mean, maybe the weather is getting a bit nicer. She's not going to like following the rules. Maybe by summer, she'll be like, you know what? I don't want to work. I am going to go live in the tent. It wasn't that bad. I can do it again. And then, of course, toilet paper has been replaced with fairy bottles. I'm a newborn mom. This is, 
StreamYard did an update or something. I can see like who my moderators are again now. Because <laughs> like anyone who was a moderator before that was also a member, it didn't show me that they were moderators. Um, and now I can see, which is amazing. Like there's a little wrench beside your name down there. That wasn't there. If I streamed yesterday, it wasn't there yesterday. I don't think I streamed yesterday. Yeah, I'm losing my mind. Never mind. That doesn't matter. I keep going. That's just, that's very cool. All right. So I've been watching a lot of different sermons lately. I grew up in the church. Oh, this is where she forgets that Jesus exists. Well, maybe not exists, but she's like, I've never heard this emphasis on Jesus. What the fuck are you talking about? Everything has been emphasized on Jesus. Have you seen like Talladega Nights, your baby Jesus, you get into a fight about Jesus? I heard Jesus talked about a lot. Church. I grew up in the Lutheran or Catholic church. So half of my family was Catholic. <clears throat> half of my family was Lutheran. We went to Lockett. Penasaurus. I downloaded that video. I haven't, I hadn't seen it before. I love it. I'm going to keep, <laughs> I didn't get to watch all of it, but I'm like, there's some good shit here. In Sunday school, Awanis club, uh, I was baptized, confirmed, um, you know, all of that special classes, testing, et cetera, and so forth. Now, in, as an adult, I hear all of this emphasis on Jesus. I listen to Elevation Church, and there are a couple of others that I listen to regularly, and I have for about five years now. I, I don't think she was paying attention in church before then. If she thinks, like, it's just nowadays that people are putting an emphasis on Jesus. I, I, I don't ever recall there being such a large emphasis on Jesus. And the difference, the main difference that I could pick up from Jewish, um, Muslim, Christian, is this emphasis on Jesus. What is this emphasis on Jesus? Why did I never hear about this in the Catholic? How, do you know who Jesus is? Like, do you know what he did? Why is there such an emphasis on Je He's only like one of the main characters in the fucking Bible. But, you know, I don't I have no idea, Heather, why they would be talking about Jesus so much. Or the Lutheran church while I was growing up. And now it's like such a huge part of the church. I'm very confused. Can anyone clarify? <laughs> Can anyone clarify? She, so she keeps doing this um, breast milk menu, which I guess is to make you feel bad that she's not getting enough calories for the breast milk for the, the the breast milk that's not going to the kid um but you know now she's counting her calories and she has to post everything she's uh being fed at this place so you can donate to her so she can go buy subway um as well and then make her a six mile trip to the hospital that she's not doing i, I, I find anyways that that's neither her nor there um, breast milk menu, trail mix, mixed nuts, raisins, caramel, and chocolate chips. That sounds pretty good. So this is all for free, by the way. So she's getting this for free at the shelter Four four clementines being are pretty good. Uh, piece pizza, sausage, green pepper, and onion, two to three slices, uh, half a family size garden salad with balsamic, uh, dressing, sweet tea, two liters of water gelato gelato protein shake for dinner i'm pumping every three or four but that's pretty good like that's for free for a homeless lady i'd i'd be pretty happy i'd be pretty happy i'm sad i'm trying to pick it so some of these maybe i should put a trigger warning some of them she does seem like genuinely sad but i gotta keep in the back of my mind I'm pretty sure she was just trying to use this kid as like a ticket out of homelessness because they had nine months to get their shit together. And right up until labor, she was like, I think someone's just going to hand me keys to an apartment. So, you know. Get up, but I'm sad as fuck. Um, how are you guys doing today? Oh shit. I miss I missed it. How far do I have to go back? Hopefully not too far. What what? All right. Reasons to be grateful. Um uh, for healthy, amazing children, food, shelter, clothing. No matter what happens, I know that I have done the right things for myself and my family at every step of the way. No, no. <laughs> not every step of the way. I'll have to say no to that. Um, I pray for mercy. 
So she's still in denial, but at least, like, I don't know. Is this progress? I'm, I'm not a social worker or a botanist or any of that fancy shit. Um, so I don't know if this is progress or the same old Tyler shit. So um, we are in a temporary shelter now. We have our own space, our own room, our own bathroom. Um, and we have 14 days here and then they place us in a permanent shelter for our family. So they interview us and see what are our needs. For instance, I have a newborn baby that I breastfeed. So we need, you know, a freezer and a fridge. You probably just need a freezer and a fridge for regular day stuff. I don't think they're taking the, the breast milk. Um, so we're on day five here and, um, I'm very grateful. The whole process has been just very uh, intense with everything that's going on in all areas of my life. Um, just very intense. Um, but we're hanging in there and just very grateful. Well, think about it this way. You don't have to be like day 365 in the tent or whatever, you know? Um you're indoors. You should be grateful. Uh, Devin says, where's the baby? Foster care. So, like, that's... Yeah, I guess you could say the word on the street. I uh, I don't even know how I would verify that. Um, I just... I find it extremely unlikely that it's still in the NICU. Um, so, like, pro probably in foster care. Um, because I don't think Heather's getting the kid back. I also don't even know what this says. What does this say? This is all pink. Oh, this is a <laughs> breast milk menu. Uh, some more trail mix uh, with the raisins, the caramels, more clementines. Is this the same thing, but just uh, in pink? Oh, half a... Okay, so not a protein shake this time, but half a cup of white rice with sausage, uh, mixed veggies, milk, iced tea. Okay. So I guess they got them on like an eating schedule. That's the same thing she ate the day before. That would get boring, but like food is food. Especially if you're homeless, right? Someone is asking about my labor. I literally dilated. All right, this is her labor, sir. I've seen a lot of people be like, there's no way. There's no way that she got an epidural at a 9.5 centimeters dilated. I don't know. I looked it up. Apparently you can. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm not a woman. I'm not a doctor. Um, apparently it's possible, but not usual. But they say it can be done technically. From zero to 9.5 centimeters with no epidural. Um, most excruciating pain I have ever felt in my entire life. Um, the epidural was placed four minutes began before I began to push. And then, um, thank God, because the pushing was incredibly intense. Um, but yeah, I did the entire laboring with no medicine and no epidural. I would be, I know we can't, because like, it'd be against laws. But if she is like, talking to a social worker or a psychologist or a psychiatrist or something, I'd be curious to see if like, she's actually being open to help. Or if she just like completely switched, like she's not crazy. She was just acting crazy to get donations and she completely switched it off like when she got shelter um, to get her kid back. That would be that would be fucking crazy. Or maybe because she's actually getting resources, like maybe she's getting help. Dude, like homeless people, did they give homeless people like social workers and stuff? I guess it varies state by state. I have no idea. I think it's fake progress, George Washington, maybe. Perhaps, yeah. Thank you guys for everyone who's asking how you can donate. I only accept donations through Cash App, Google Pay, um, or online e-gift cards. I'll put all the information right here. I'm exhausted, and I have to wake up at 1.30 to pump, so I'm going to get some rest. Um, but thank you guys again for, for all of your support. Thank you for the five dollars. The cre the cremor, the cremor, the cremor. Hey Steve, always love your content. Thank you. Um, 
So again, with the cash app drop, I think this is the same. She's just reusing her cash app drops now. Oh, uh, this is her crazy thing. This is like the most like ADD thing ever. So this is this is what GoPro Solo is, apparently. So GoPro Solo, it's art, music, parenting, GPS. I didn't even notice this when I made my little short before. What the fuck is GPS? Like you're selling GPS? You're just going to tell them how to use GPS? Like what, what the fuck is GPS? Babies, blogs, art, Bible, pets, e-commerce, fashion, <laughs> food, uh, fitness, motivation. And then it's just like uh, you're building brand. Uh, Go pro solo. It's your best and most affordable ad copy new online business development whatever the fuck that that's not a sentence but it's it's, it's fucking out there i just got everything jumping around 40 more ounces of breast milk 40 ounces this is my first time and then just with, yeah more more breast milk this is like i should say trigger warning she gets a little emotional in here as well um because it's her first time in mariana's washroom since giving birth i'm back in this bathroom since weston was born it's so sad you guys look i used to always do these progress videos remember yeah we remember okay so bcg says uh he's not in the nick you anymore he was placed on monday so there you guys go <laughs> <laughs> well, more breast milk money. I think it's just more Clementines and everything. I'm just, I'm curious. Let me just see if there's anything different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gundam style. Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I really only put it up for one second. That, I really helped myself there. One Clementine. Okay, half a uh, chicken Caesar spinach tomato star. Oh, I actually had a fucking robot read this in one of the shorts. Uh, half a chicken tender filet. Uh, half, a quarter pound, third of a pound of potato salad. Twix, Chinobi, zero sugar yogurt. Some sips of Xavier's Coca-Cola. So he's alive. I wonder which Xavier it is. Uh, mixed berries, which is strawberry, melon, blackberry, raspberry, cantaloupe, watermelon. That's fifteen hundred calories. You guys got to give everybody a five hundred more calories. What's this? Of course, I made ten ounces in one pump because I missed my noon pump, and my boobies were so engorged and painful. What the fuck is this, Heather Gillespie? Making me read. Um, I'm a newborn mom. It makes me it makes me think she's newborn. Like I'm a newborn mother. Right. Good morning, you guys. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone to go over the GoPro solo page. This is interesting. So Xavier has now made art that is just Google Street View with like, I don't know, a crop out thing. And they say, Hey, you should buy this for your <laughs> corporate art. If you're looking for corporate art art for your business, your small business, your brick and mortar business, or custom icons, we're doing all of that. Um, Xavier has created a really interesting collection yeah. um, where he is actually taking photos, real life photos um, from drone perspectives of all over the United States. Real life photos of drone perspectives. So he's going on a fucking Google Earth or just Street View, <laughs> like Google Maps. And taking a picture of it and be like, this is a picture of a drone's perspective of all over the United States. We could go anywhere. We could go anywhere. Like uh, what's eating Gilbert Creek? Um, and so I'm going to be releasing those and posting a couple of those. GoPro Solo, um, a GoPro Solo production. I'll tag it right here. Um, just go ahead and click that, add that account. And if you're interested in anything like that, um, please let us know. So this is... This is the art, Xavier's fine art, cor corporate art. And um, I don't know, actually, if just the picture, like this Google Street View is the art, and this is supposed to make it be like, this could be your corporate office, or if this whole picture itself is the art. That would be crazy if it's just it's a street image picture. I didn't think about that before. 
And so this is, yeah, this is the street view photo and that's the, the art. Crazy, crazy collection. And then, I don't know, this is with like a, a filter on it on one of them. I mean, where can I spend my money? Where can I spend money on this? Postpartum updates. Uh, what is your pain from zero to 10? I think that's a hundred million. I think that's a hundred million. Are you depressed? No, I'm in shock. My heart was kidnapped. I refuse that. I refuse to numb the pain with drugs or alcohol. Uh, I'm still too torn up to work out. I feel emotionally isolated from any bit of understanding. Nothing makes sense. I can't blog about it. I'm sitting with a tremendous amount of anxiety and confusion. So I guess because of the, the, the court thing, which I don't even know what the court dates are. I don't think, I don't even know if we can find out because it's supposed to be all confidential when it's like involving kids, right? I oh, GPS stands for GoPro. So that makes a lot more sense. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. I missed something else again. I need uh, different buttons for different things. Does that make sense? I'm hearing more and more uh, of people doing this. So maybe he is onto something here. Keeping the family out of social media. Oh, this is Gary V and how he doesn't post his family to social media. Which is pretty smart. Um, sometimes I think if they talk about my babies, I would have nothing to talk about. Oh, if some, what the fuck? Sometimes I think if I didn't talk about my babies, I would have nothing to talk about. Uh, IBS, hashtag mommy. And Gary V got married to his wife, Lizzie, in 2004. They have two kids. Uh, I don't even know why we're reading this. He has never shared any photos of them online. He rarely talks about his family. And it's a black box. I don't know what that means. It's a black box. I just got off the phone with my dad who lives in the Northwest suburbs. And this is Heather being a weather woman now. I wanted to do a, a short where I dressed up in a weather, or I guess it's a news anchor. <laughs> it's just a suit, basically. And do find some crazy story and then be like, wow, Bill, that's a crazy story. How wh How's the weather, Heather? And then like cut to her. I just didn't have time. Mama Mia. And I just wanted to say to everyone, there is a tornado warning on the ground, tornado sighted on the ground. There were three sirens so far. If you guys are out there, please go inside, seek shelter. And it's supposed to be moving towards the city. So if you're in the north, northwest suburbs, um, Cook and Lake County, and you have not um, been made aware, there is a tornado warning, not a watch. Please be careful and go in the house. Okay, guys, you guys got to be careful. This is Heather Gillespie, weather woman from the bed. And then we can do the marketing in the bath. Weather in the bed, marketing in the bath. We got it all figured out. But hello, Aunt Stacy and your highness. How you guys doing tonight? So they gave us a little gift in the hospital. I didn't get a chance to show you guys. Congratulations and best wishes. And then this little silver spoon, so cute. And it has a little engraving. Can you guys see that? It says, um, feed them with love. Amita, St. Joseph's Hospital, Chicago. Xavier Chakras, how you doing? Oh. Baby Weston. So they gave her like a little spoon for the baby. I did they know they were gonna take the baby? Because that's just really mean. If they knew, they're like, all right, we're gonna take this kid. But give her like a give her a spoon from the hospital. It's mandatory with every birth, and give her a spoon. And then she'll just have something to remember the baby to buy. Like, I don't know. Maybe some more foresight could have went into that reason why i tell people don't ever buy oh, okay so this is i'm keeping this in here because she keeps posting stuff about like vending machines and shit so i think she's gonna try to get a vending machine i don't know if um i'm assuming she has to look for work when she's better or xavier at least has to look for work if xavier's staying at this place 
Um, or maybe they're like, if you come up with a marketing idea and can pitch it to us, maybe we'll fund it. That'd be crazy. Canada will do that though. Um, if like you have some kind of idea that, and you can show that it, it will make money, they'll, um, I forget what it's called. They'll basically, they'll fund it for you. Um, so I wonder if she's going to try to do that with this. Just give me, give me money for vending machines. Or she's going to start asking us for fucking money for a vending machine that she doesn't know how to operate. The vending machine first is because if you buy the vending machine before you have the location, if the location wants a snack vending machine and you bought a drink vending machine, or if you bought a drink vending machine or, and the location wants a snack vending machine, then you're at a loss. And if a vending machine sits, it doesn't make any money, right? So I can just picture her like going into places and be like, you need a, you need another vending machine and some fine art above the vending machine. That's just like fucking Google street view. Um, and we're never going to stock up the vending machine or it's going to be stocked up with like the weirdest fucking shit you've ever seen. Energy chakra bracelets or some shit. Um, now she's pointing to like other mothers that I guess got to keep their kids who used cannabis during their pregnancy. Uh, many moms agree with this marijuana mama. What do you think? I don't even take Tylenol or ibuprofen. I only do fucking weed when I'm pregnant. Weed that could be laced with fucking other shit because you got Xavier in the tent with you. Who knows where the hell you're buying your weed off of? Like, if the weed is coming from the same guy who sells Xavier the fentanyl, it's probably a high probability there's a little bit of fentanyl in there. Like, that's not... I don't know. Probably not the best idea. Uh, and if... Uh, I... Whoa. I can read and have not taken anything other than prenatal vitamins in order to keep my breast milk clean and healthy. What are your thoughts on this? I don't even know what this says. So what does this say? It says uh, some moms sleep when a baby sleeps. Other mamas weed when a baby sleeps. Uh, now he's four years old and way too smart for his own good. I didn't pump and dump my breast milk. I something, something, baby boy, and something seemed fly from my best breast milk. Whoa. Oh, like she was smoking while breastfeeding? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know what Heather's trying to say here. And then, oh, this is the hemorrhoids thing. So, like, she's. How long will it take for postpartum hemorrhoids to disappear? Uh, it says up to five days after birth, but improved noticeably after two weeks. And she's like, I hope so. I got to put the comment down so you guys can see. I hope so. It's marking and time in the bath, guys. Oh, okay. So I don't, I did a short. I'll just have, I already read this. So I didn't want to read it again. So I'm just playing it. to play this for you guys. Does your small business need a website? Are you looking for quality work at an affordable price? I'm running a promotion creating home or landing pages for new small businesses at no cost. You can take my years of experience where I failed to maintain the mercifulstorm.com as an example of my last luck to work. That some have called art itself. If you like it and you want me to mess up the rest of your site, we can discuss a rate structure. Contact me today. This is Heather Gillespie from the bath. From the bath. You know? Um, Because, like, they came out to right after the, uh, the bath thing. So that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to say, like, hey, I can help market your website. I can build a website for you. We'll do a landing page, even though you don't have a fucking computer. Um, you are complaining that you can't run mercifulstorm.com and that everything's all wacky and you don't, can't keep up with the times. Um, so I would, Hey, maybe we should give her a project. Maybe I can like make up a fake business and be like, you can do a landing page for this website. See if she actually does it. Uh, see if it, if it's worth the, it's not going to cost us anything. So. And if it's good, if it's actually good, I'll be like, I'm actually highly impressed that she was able to do this with no laptop. Um, so she's just listing all the things she's grateful here. I don't really feel like reading it. What is this? Uh, working towards solutions uh, with my heart and soul. Not knowing where and what, wait the fuck. Not knowing who, what, where, when, why is always uncomfortable. The law of attraction says you focus on lack and more the more you will lack. Oh, you, if you focus on lack, the more you will lack. I'm focused on blessings and how much love I have for my children and my puppy. 
And I know they go, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no puppy. This is from 2020. Why is she posting things for four years? My God. Heather, making me read Hubba Blue nonsense. We're not reading that. Because it's from four years ago, Heather. Four years ago. She went throwbacks. Throwbacks for no reasons. What's up, guys? Um, so today is Wednesday. Bulldog Mama, how you doing tonight? Um, I can't really provide any specific updates, but I can say that I am doing my best to take care of my body and mind. I am um, eating as balanced as possible. We're super grateful to be provided um, three meals a day here. But... Um, they don't always meet the caloric needs that I want for my breast milk. It's like, James, I need 4,000 calories, guys. I'm, well, how tall is James? Five foot eight. I need four fucking thousand calories to maintain my muscle mass. And I also am super grateful that I have you guys as sponsors who send in donations so we can go and grab whatever I need. There's an Aldi around the corner. That, that's it. Yeah. She wasn't counting calories in the tent. I, I've never seen her be like, all right, guys, you know, thank you, sponsors, but this is not enough calories. And she also never saved any food. She was, I think she was lying, but she was like, you guys feed me like eight times a day. And then she just sits there and eats it all. Is that like, maybe her body's burning off some calories. Um, so I'm just trying to keep it between 1500 and 2000 calories a day. I'm still pumping every four hours or so we dropped off 40 ounces of breast milk on Monday, um, to the NICU. Um, and that should last him for the week. So taking a rest day to day, only walking to go get some food. Um, so yeah, there's Heather, how are you spending your time? Epsom salt bass, balanced diet. Hot drinking water. I think we could, we probably don't even need to mention drinking water. It's very mundane. I think everyone drinks water, unless you're me. Um, then you have to be forced to drink water by being like given, well, not ultimatums, but like that, that's crazy things. Um, we don't need to mention it three times, that's for sure. Uh, small walks, listening to sermons, watching content. Uh, trying to trying to laugh instead of cry. Okay. A couple of restaurants. Like Family Guy, laughing and cry. Friends, I think we're gonna do Subway, um, and just get like a turkey sandwich loaded with veggies. You guys know that I hate mayonnaise, so I I keep it really really healthy and really really clean when I go there. Um, and then there's an Aldi. I've been drinking anywhere from two to three liters of water a day. Breast um, pumping every four hours. Maybe that's something she could do. Maybe she could set the world record for like amount of water drinking before getting like that crazy thing where you die from drinking too much water. Like that chick that died from drinking the Nintendo Wii. The water toxicity thing. Um, I don't know why she's telling us. She's, I'm drinking so much water. It's awesome, Heather. It's great. Uh, VC wants a pony. Thank you for the $10 super sticker. Cheers. I see what this and is. I'm coming up with a lot. Like I was just joking with, with one of the um, ladies here that I could be feeding three to four babies with this amount of, of milk production. So um, we're going to take a little walk. I need more Epsom salt. My bottom and body are just, um, <sighs> we're still in recovery. Let's just, let's just say that we are hurting. Um, it's torn up and, I mean, I had a baby eight days ago. So what do you expect? So up some salt and healthy dieting. Okay, what's going on, you guys? Um thank you, Casey. Thank, thank you. It's like the base ingredient of literally everything. Everything has water in it. Like, you know, like uh, lettuce is just water. Watermelon is just water. Cucumbers, it's just water. Um, so like, yeah, this is, it's filler. It's my, it's, you might as well just be like salt. Um, <clears throat> oh, this is her. This is very, I have to do, I have to do. Okay. Who's, I'm going to make myself do this somehow. I got to do a side by side of James and Heather. This is just like the star jumps, but more yoga, you know? Um, but James was sitting in the exact same fucking position. 
watching at one point be like, all right, guys, it's time to do a jump. And jump. I don't know why I make him have that voice. Neither of them have that voice. I just like, that's the voice I give him. Eight days postpartum now. So my baby is one week, one day old, and I am in a tremendous amount of pain um, in my lower region still. So yeah, Subway turned Jared into a like a pedophile. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Subway did that. We had to walk seven miles to get to emergency housing the day after um, I was released from the hospital. So three days postpartum. And ever since that day, I've just been feeling very, very uncomfortable. Um, I've also been having problems with like the bathroom. Um, so urgency. I need to hurry up and get into a restroom when I, as soon as I feel it. And it's been getting better as the days go on. But I was doing some research onto some exercises that I can be doing. And I wanted to share them with you if anyone else here is postpartum. So this is what. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's ba Baja, Baja Blast. The Mountain Dew Baja Blast. It's its birthday. Wait, no, it isn't. I don't know what day it is. Um, It was its birthday. Hold on. Hey Siri, when is Baja Blast's birthday? I think it'll know. Okay, I found this on the web for when is Baja Blast's birthday. Check it out. Um, I saw a thing about it, but I don't know like when the thing was from. It was from January, so like it is not its birth. It was like two months ago, but it's uh, it was Baja Blast's birthday recently. What we're doing today. <laughs> Okay, so the first one is simply engaging okay. in a the cat cow. Out. And anyone who knows yoga, let me go this way. <clears throat> anyone who knows yoga knows that a cat cow is simply arching and then dropping your back. And you're going to want to engage in the abdomen as well as the pelvic floor. So you're going to squeeze all your muscles from the belly button down. <clears throat> and then you hold. What is that ticking sound in the background? What is that? I've never seen this yoga ness either. I did yoga one time in my life, and I, uh, I don't think I don't think I did this for approximately fifteen, and then you turn it the opposite way, and you're just really clenching in the abdomen and clenching in the vaginal wall, and you're. Is it not baja? It's baja, but it's baja. It's ba bla ba ba. Love is love. Blah, 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 blah. Your bottom, just really, really engaging in all of those muscles. Blah, blahs, blahs. <sighs> the second one, our leg drop. I don't know. Are you guys impressed? Are you guys impressed by that? Are we supposed to be impressed? I don't know why she was like, oh, why can't she just do this with that? I don't know. Maybe someone doesn't know how to do this in the world. Ups and raises. And this one's really important because if you guys know, there were days I couldn't even stand up those last few days in the time. You can ask Xavier. He would like almost have to like use his body weight to lift me. Um, it felt like someone was pulling one leg in one direction and the other leg in the other direction. And it was incredibly painful. Um, so this is going to help with that, with getting my hips back where they're supposed to be. How do you use your body weight to lift somebody? Unless you're on like a, a seesaw. What? So you're just going to drop one pulley system. Leg. Engaging in the glute, engaging in the pelvic floor. And then you lift it back up. Drop the other leg. And then you lift it back up. That's going to happen 15 times and then out with one leg and in. Um, I mean, maybe she could be a fitness instructor. She can't just walk into a gym and be like, I'm the fitness instructor now. But like if she actually, uh, I don't know, got certified, maybe she could be a fitness instructor. Is this like her seeing if she'd like to be a fitness instructor? I don't know. And then the last one that I'm going to do are pelvic bridge exercises, and I'm only going to do five. 
I'm going to try to do this three times a day. I'm not going to do a bunch of sets or reps. I'm literally just going to be in inside pumping every time I pump, try to get done on here and do 10 of these, 10 to 15 of these leg lifts, 10 to 15 of these cat cows and 10 to 15 of these um, pelvic lifts. So they're just going to look like this. And you don't she tried to get certified and it didn't work. Well, how did that not work? <laughs> what is, I can't imagine there's like a bunch of hoops to jump through for that. Like, did she just not know her shit? You don't want to push yourself to go too far to hyperextend right now. You want to tuck your booty, engage in the glute, engage in your abdomen and engage in the pelvic floor and then rest. Tuck and then rest. So breastfeeding and- All right, now we're gonna go off on a fucking rant about how best breastfeeding is good or it's better um, than formula feeding or something. I'm gonna end this poll too. How many things? Yeah, you guys voted. Enough people voted. That's like, it's like half and half. Um. I don't know. If I were Heather, that would that would motivate me enough to get my shit together. If like just her kids, I'm gonna be a little mean. I don't think her kids are enough for her to get her shit together because you already had three of them. So what the fuck is this one any different? Why is this one gonna be any different? You know what I mean? Um, but maybe if she knew, people would actually accept her. If she got her shit together. Maybe that would motivate her. I don't know. Probably not. I think she's just trying different grifts. She's just like trying on different hats, seeing what fits, seeing what works. Feeding your baby breast milk is definitely much better than formula. I can definitely testify to that. I have four children. Um, my first three children only breastfed until six months. So I had enough oversupply that I could pump and freeze the milk and I could stop. Okay, so that's why she wants the cooler. She wants to freeze the milk. I, I didn't hear this one before, I guess when I was recording it. Um, can you do that? Pumping at like two months postpartum and had literally six months worth of milk. Here are some of the reasons why I believe that breastfeeding um, and we're feeding your baby breast milk is better than formula. I've never froze milk before. Can you guys freeze like normal milk? Like, can I just buy a bunch of milk and freeze it? And will it taste like milk when I unfreeze it? Or is that crazy? Why would I even want to do that? <laughs> I don't know why I'm debating this. <laughs> and this is not a post to shame mothers who choose to formula feed by any means. Um, I just know. You can't freeze it? Okay. I'm learning something new every day. So that's why she wants the cooler, guys. She's like, I need this cooler. She wants to freeze her milk. for a fact that for my children, um, as soon as we started introducing formula, there were more digestive issues, upset, um, you know, crying. Um, a lot of colicky babies are, are formula fed. So there's just a lot of overwhelming scientific evidence. Um, and here I'm going to post some of the top reasons. I seen like other people selling their breast milk online. So like, she could. I don't think she's bringing it to the NICU. Um, oh, I see Kenny. Try frying milk? Like, frying it? I don't know what, what this is. Like, deep frying it? I don't know how you do that, Kenny. What are you talking about? I put, oh, what's your, who is it? Um, whipping cream with tomato paste to make the crazy sauce. Uh, what is this? Oh, so this is just a really, like, Thing going on, breastfeeding helps protect babies from any serious health problems. It keeps on offering protection as you get older. I don't know. And a bunch of stuff. If you guys want to read this, you can read it. Um, she's just doing her TED Talks now, I guess. You shouldn't feed a six-month-old your milk from two months ago. Milk changes as the baby changes. Yeah, that would make sense. That's why I was just I've never heard of anyone freezing their milk to use months down the load line. Um, seemed a little weird to me. And then I was like, can you freeze milk in general? I want to try it. 
because I don't think it'll taste the same when you unfreeze it. Um, so I'm going to buy some no. milk. I'm going to freeze it. And it's going to be all crazy because it's going to be a fucking plastic bag of milk. And then actually I should freeze two bags of milk because I want to throw one and see what happens. Like it'll probably break, but I want to see just a bag of milk shatter. I think that'd be pretty cool. We could film it. Um, and then the other one will melt and see if it's still, if it will do a taste test. We'll, we'll buy three bags. Of milk. We're going to throw one we're going to freeze the other and melt it. And then we're just going to taste do the other one for like a control one. Science. Well, this, this information is from Hopkins Institute. So I'm going to link it right here if you guys want to read it on your own. Besides the benefits to baby, breastfeeding has a bunch of benefits to a postpartum mother. Let's talk about those. It's just how things are done here. I don't know why. So it's just always been done that way. I mean, like you can buy cartons, but I don't think anyone does. Those people are kind of looked at like crazy people besides lowering mom's risk for all of those issues and diseases cardiovascular disease thyroiditis um diabetes um etc and so forth it also significantly reduces chances of postpartum depression becoming an issue um it doesn't mean you won't get postpartum depression and lastly it does it does that breastfeed oh i mean like it, you have i guess a bonding thing happening Perhaps per se, I do not know. Uh, Beth, Beth Bush Bozier. I'm bad with last names. I'm sorry, Beth. Thank you for the nine ninety nine. I appreciate you. It helps your uterus to shrink back to pre-pregnancy size and shape. Breastfeeding helps your uterus um, a lot quicker, and it helps with weight loss. So, um, my well, I don't buy milk because I have no use for milk. <laughs> I don't know. So buy three bags of milk is going to be something. I'll um I'll pull up a picture of it though. Moms who are breastfeeding are burning a significant amount of more calories than moms who are not. Um, just producing milk in itself burns calories. Then feeding the baby or pumping the the milk also burns calories. So overall, I think that the health benefits for mom and baby are tremendous, and that breastfeeding is definitely the preferable method of feeding. Hey guys. So a few days ago, I had a client come up to me and he said, "Hey." Your bill acceptor is so more vending machine stuff. Um, so I see. Okay, this is actually a good one. This uh, this shows you the container because there's a container that you have to have right to drink the milk out of. Because that'd be pretty crazy if you just like had a bag. <laughs> no. um, how do I share this? I just want to airdrop it. Drop it so I can pull it up. Come on. The 56 kilobyte JPEG image, bro. Like you can do a little faster. What are you what are you doing? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, it actually opened where I wanted it to open. Wow, that's crazy. Look at this, guys. Um, I didn't even have to change anything. It just took a long time. So this is the milk. It comes in a bag like this, which has bags in the bag. So there's a lot of bags. We gotta get rid of plastic grocery bags, but you're just you're bringing home a bunch of plastic bags in a fucking reusable. It's stupid. That's why. Anyways, um, then you put the bag like in one of these containers here, and then you slit the top, you pour it out, um, and that's milk in Canada. For anyone who did not know. Um, and like I said, you can buy the cartons too. I think the cartons might be more expensive. That's just like the natural way milk comes in. <laughs> Taking my bills and I laughed at him and I said, okay, I'll come check it out. Maybe it's just full. And I was joking, but it was actually full. So that's the first one he saw in this video. And that being said, having self-serve bays for... When you break someone, you shot. They do have chocolate milk in a bag. Um... Maybe I'll buy some chocolate milk in a bag too for you guys. And then I can actually show it to you. I'll be like, look, it's the bagged milk. It's real. It exists. I'll be broken. Done. Oh, yeah. So she's like, I don't know. She turned into Allah, guys. Did you hear that? When you break someone, when you, are, when you think you're petty, or you want to swear, abuse, hurt. You don't close the bag. It just stays open. The hole's like 
small, right? So, but yeah, it just, just kind of stays open. There's a little thing that goes on the fridge too. I don't have a, a container or one of those things either. Cause like I said, I don't buy milk. Um, but the, you have like a special thing you usually use to open it up as well. I'm gonna have to buy one of those. Cause depression in the cases of people you keep mocking. And that's why be careful of your jokes. Sometimes people are not strong enough to take a joke. You joke about them, about their appearance, about their intelligence, whether it's school, college, wherever it may be. Be careful when you make people feel low and belittled. That Imagine, yeah, like little little baby bags of milk, like Capri Suns. No, they had like little cartons. Um, we didn't really do uh, milk at school. Like there was in high school, there was a cafeteria where you could buy like little milk and cartons like that. Day is coming. What you did to others shall be done unto you. So basically, Heather still thinks it's everyone else's fault that she's in the place she's in in her life right now. Um, and the karma is going to get him through Allah, which is a totally normal fucking thing. Um, and then back to sleep for a few hours. My body is still stiff and sore from childbirth. Boy, boy, I can't fuck speak. The more I think about it, like, I wonder if there's, like, a milk racket. Like, how there's um, the maple syrup racket. Like, the person, whoever was, like, in charge of saying, like, you know, all this milk is going in bags is the same person who made all those plastic milk containers. It's the same person who made the fucking thing to open them with. He's like, this is a, a three-pronged product thing that every Canadian is going to have to buy in their household. Do you think it's something like that? Because, like, what is the fucking point of having to buy three things to drink some milk? It's crazy. I don't know, here, a little sad shot. Yes, I'm sad. Yes, it's normal to feel sad when apart from loved ones. I mean, like, if this was anyone other than Heather, I'd be like, oh, it's, yeah. Um, no, I don't want to hurt myself, but that's good. Very grateful to those. Uh, of you who continue to check on me and show support in any way. Um, so I'm 10 days postpartum and I just feel really bloated. You know, I'm about still 30 pounds heavier than I was. Um, I started out the pregnancy only four months postpartum from an incredible loss at 18 weeks preterm labor of twins. Um, spent four or five days in the hospital after that or three to five days uh, resting and, and tried to go back to work lost my job uh, for being out you lost your job because you sent them the video of whatever the fuck happened in that uh bathroom which is graphic and crazy and something that i never want to see again in my life um that's why you got fired and then you said all this Half naked, oh, maybe fully naked in the washroom while saying, like, if you want to donate, you know, Amazon gift cards, Cash App, Target <laughs> gift cards, or Google Pay, any of those would be great. Of work, um, and then was pregnant again. So I started around 150 or 60 pounds, um, and I still have about 30 to lose to get back to 140, 50 pounds. Um, my clothes are not fitting right. Emotionally, I'm just, you know, holding on and, and self-caring and, you know. Um. How did the milk come in bags at school? I'm really curious. Now. Like, what? Like, little bags of milk? Was there, like, little milk containers? That would be a crazy racket because you need an individual one for each person. Putting my body back together. So one of the things that I really want to discuss is postpartum body, how to dress it, how to like still. I'll have to go to the grocery store with you guys. All right. I'll show you guys all the different milk options. There's big carts. There's little carts. There's there is plastic jugs, um, but there's a lot of bags. There's a lot of bags of milk. And most people like if you go over to someone's house, they got bags of milk.
I think it's just like the cheaper option. Um, that's just how it is. My grandma used to buy the milk carton specifically just to make igloos. <laughs> so she would like freeze uh, water and she'd get the milk carton. So she'd pour the milk out, use the milk, um, and then cut it off and then freeze water and then take the bricks and make fucking igloos. So like that was the only reason she bought them. But any other time, like during the summer, she was buying bags. She wasn't buying cartons. They'll love it. Um, and how to do so on a budget. Amazon has been my best friend the last three months. I, as you guys know, was having very limited mobility. I was going into preterm labor and sitting down and literally laying down was the only way I kept my baby inside full term. Um, so Weston wanted to be born at 28 weeks. She's saying like she was like turtle heading the baby for like how long? I just I just laid down. It stayed inside me. Please DM me all your favorite Amazon brands. I'm going to start ordering a new outfit each week. See, that's the kind of shit that pisses me off about Heather. It's like you're in a position, you're in kind of in a position where you could go one way or the other. And you're going to buy a fucking new outfit off of Amazon every week. You could be investing that money. You could be saving the money. You could be spending on literally anything else I could think of. Especially if like this place is giving you clothes. Like what? whatever, whatever, dude. Heather Gillespie. And I was like, no, baby, you're not ready. You know, he would have had long development issues and everything. So he stayed in until 40 weeks, four days, the way that I handled my body and took care of myself. So I, I want to use Amazon the same way I was those last three months of pregnancy. And if you guys know of any reputable clothing brands you've ordered, please DM me them or tag them. Target has literally been there for me this entire pregnancy. And even before then, it's just really trying to get like some free shit from Target, maybe. Target's always been there for me, guys. I love Target. Sponsored by Target. So well, she already thinks she's sponsored by Target. Um, my children have always been dressed. You guys know that section in Target where they have the five and seven dollar outfits. My children have had every single one of those. Like literally every single one of those. They're so clutch. The quality is unbeatable. They last for the um, so I'm not too, I'm not too sure about the, uh, the court date. Um, next court date sometime in March. Okay. So this month is March 1st. Yes. We made it to March. Um, February was the best month this channel ever had. So we got to like, we have to surpass that in March now, which means, I don't know. I have to come up with new creative ways to do that. The entire time that they fit the baby. So Babies and toddlers are growing so quickly. Who wants to spend, you know, $50 on an outfit when you could spend $13 on an outfit and it's adorable and it looks new the whole time that it fits them. So Target is another one. But for women, Joy Lab is such a clutch brand, but it is not that. You guys don't like when she says clutch? <laughs> is this a new Heather term? This is like a... It feels, what was that? I wanted to say a need for speed reference, but that's not a, that's not a movie, right? What's the race car movie? Not cars. Um, Fast and the Furious. It sounds like a Fast and the Furious reference. It's so clutch, bro. Vin Diesel, let's go driving around and cause a ruckus. That affordable. I'm looking specifically for outfits comparable to Joy Lab, Aloe, and other fitness brands that are like a third of the price tag them through amazon like these outfits are adorable i would look adorable like, in them amazing. who the fuck can pay this like i don't know <laughs> i thought she was just like she was describing it that's the name of the brand is clutch i've never heard of clutch either if that's what she's talking about um can i get a sponsorship allo is that a grocery store it sounds like a grocery store that also sells clothes, like uh, Zayers. I think Zayers sells clothes. Who's going to pay this? And why are your clothes so expensive? Like, I want to wear that. That is so much money. $200 for just a hoodie? Why? Like, 
I could understand if it was like some like, you know, private artist who's like selling his designs or something like that. This is like clothing being made in mass production. Yeah, Joe Fresh. There's like uh, someone on Dragon's Den or the other one, Shark Tank, who runs Joe Fresh. I think. Yeah, that's the clothing brand. That's theirs. For the purpose of causing some people to feel poor and undeserving while other people excessively spend. My hoodie's Xavier, I heard him. I heard him. He was like, my hoodie. And then she's like, no, no, Xavier. Baby can't have your last name. No one can hear your voice. Don't be sending your dick around all over the place. A mother has strengths that Amazon, oh, that amaze others. <laughs> I don't know. My brain's coming up with words. Um, she can handle trouble. Had carry. Oh, and oh my God. It's because there's a glare. And carry heavy burdens. She smiles when she feels like screaming. She sings when she feels like crying. She cries when she's happy. She laughs when she's afraid. Uh, her love is unconditional. This sounds just like a crazy person. Here, There's only one thing wrong with her. At times, mothers forget her worth. All right. Brass milk menu. Three cups of pasta with ground turkey meat sauce. 800 calories. Damn. Mixed vegetables, orange juice, iced tea, and one liter of water. So far for the day. You guys, I need a cooler that will keep things frozen. Not cold, frozen. Okay. If you guys can... If you know of any, drop it right here in this little box. Drop the link. Um, Amazon or Target would be. Tim Pool's brother made a cooler that kept things frozen, but then he got into a fight with like Augie and Bo Blacks, and then he blamed them for his cooler not selling on Kickstarter, and he went depressed, and now his channel's dead. I mean, you could buy his cooler. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be great. Ideal. I need it for like Monday, so Amazon is probably going to be the way to go. Um, but it has to be not an insulated bag. It has to be able to keep the liquid frozen. Like She's going to freeze her breast milk so she can feed the baby with it months down the line. Or maybe she's going to sell it on Craigslist. Who knows? Either that or I need to find someone who sells dry ice. What? No. Any paleteras in my... Uh... In my audience here, who who can sell me some drugs? You think she's high, Utah girl? Maybe. I mean, she's doing the accent. She's got the eyes. She needs a cooler. My eyes. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know who she's messaging here, but she says, uh, latching was never a problem for me. Luckily, all three of my children breastfed easily. The main issue is was facing. Oh, I was facing with breastfeeding. Were nipple cracking? What the fuck? And pain due to dryness and uncomfortably uh just had to force what oh i'm fucking what is wrong with my brain not reading today my brain does this thing where it just doesn't want to read and then it just like i'm telling my brain to read words and it's like fuck off we're not doing this and i'm like no we have to do it anyways um to feed them through those things uh the nipples toughen after a few weeks that that and that goes away uh, the lactation specialist always said to aim for the top of the mouth and adjust the hold. It takes a few attempts, but once they get it, they get it. Who are you texting this to? This is a strange text message. Mama Mia. Sponsors. This is the cooler. Okay, guys, this is the cooler. If someone wants to order it for us or send a Target eat gift card, that would be great. So this is a Titan cooler. Um... It'd be great if she actually said, I don't, has she said specifically, I'm freezing breast milk? She's just like, the liquid needs to be frozen. I think she's, uh, I don't know. I think she said in one of the ones before it. So I found the cooler. Um, it guarantees ice for up to two days. So that's great. That would be fantastic. I actually am going to end up needing two of them. Um, but for right now, one would be fantastic. So for everyone in the DM asking how they can help or, how they can be supportive. That would be fantastic. If you it's just, 
I can read your guys' comments. I can't, I don't like reading Heather's shit because my brain knows it's just crazy nonsense from a crazy person, right? Um, but we need to know what's going on. You guys could buy the cooler. I think it's $34. Um, I'm going to go tomorrow and pick it up. So use the email address, oneheathergee at gmail.com if you're sending a Target gift card. And if you are um, just going to order it for in-store pickup, just DM me and let me know so that I know. Thank you guys so much. Um, other than that, I'm going to follow up with my doctor tomorrow um, just about like what I can be doing to he to speed the healing process because it is hurting. Like I don't remember with my other three kids. I've been sleeping a lot yesterday and today. How old is she? She's um. I think I forget. I always forget her age, to be honest. I thought she was like 39, but I think she's not 39. She's what, 36? Is she 36? She's getting older. So obviously, like, as you get older, things take longer to heal. It's just life. That's why I can't skateboard all the time anymore. <sighs> maybe one day, maybe Elon Musk will solve everything and then we can uh, get back to healing in like two days like we used to. Hey, and I'm going to keep doing that. Um, but thank you guys so much for continuing to check on me. I just have to remind myself several times a day okay. that the world's problems are not my problems that i owe it. it does she like when is she saying like oh my god these problems i gotta solve them guys the world look at the state of the world right now it's up to me to solve it but to myself and my children to focus on our lives and that no matter what type of pressure i feel to pay attention to these other issues my prayers to god need to be centered around my own stability because as yeah your prayers are getting ignored because god is like picking them up I'm being like, well, you don't even know my son, Jesus, right? Like, what is all this emphasis on Jesus? Get out of here, Heather. That's what he's doing to you. This dog ears thing got like, <laughs> she's 92 in dog ears, guys. As they say in um, any airplane that you board, if the airplane is in trouble or there is no oxygen, you need to first secure your own oxygen mask before helping anyone else. And that's so important to remember in life. This is what makes me think like she's talking to a counselor or something, or maybe there's just like a group therapy session that they do that's mandatory. That's just like general advice. It's just like, I've never heard Heather make any of these references or analogies or metaphors. Um, I follow the same people Heather follows on my alt account. So she thinks like, oh, this guy's cool because she follows the same people I follow. I haven't heard any of them say any of this shit either. So I don't know where she's getting it from. Unless it's just like a new Heatherism. Um, I need to secure my mask and the masks of my children so that we can breathe. Um, you know, once I'm able to breathe and sitting on a bunch of money, then I can afford to concern myself with other things. But until that time, I have to remember. You no, know, that's definitely not. Got to remember to cut the fucking story off. So we don't get the full context of things, just like the olden days. Being proactive while also understanding there are components that are not in my control. The world's problems aren't my problems, guys. Not saying, oh, take off someone else's mask, you know. Don't be awful to people, whether you can help them or not. Still have compassion and decency. Um, which I think goes without saying, my face is so swollen again, you guys. But just focus on yourself first. And that's what I've been trying to live by. I woke up. My air duster is her drug of choice. It's illegal. It's easy to get. I don't know what she's showing us here. Up with this huge bump here. I have no idea how I got it. Um, but I'm just, I'm taking it easy. I'm taking it easy and I'm just waiting. Well, at least she's not blaming it on uh, nefarious people breaking into the middle of the night. That would be a normal Heather thing to do. And that's why I'm like, maybe she's changed. I don't know. Every time I think someone bad is changing, they never are. Right? So I don't think she is. But it'd be interesting if she was. Wouldn't this be the start of a change? 
I don't know. For the next steps. And there's this ancient Chinese proverb that says something about when you've done everything that you can do in your power, you have to realize that it's no one else's fault. Imagine she did watch the live. Imagine she watches just like all the content made on. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Nor is it your own fault and kind of just surrender at times. And that's that's kind of what I'm dealing with now. All right. Well, that's it for this week. Um, did anything else happen? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, she's afraid that Judge is watching. She's never going to change. I don't think she's going to change either. I would like to see her change, but what's different about this time? Like, literally, what's different? Other than that the state took the child, I guess, this time, and the, it's not going to, like, a friend or a family member. But Heather is Heather. <laughs> Anyways, um, I do have some crazy train stuff. For us to watch, we'll do a smoke break now. Um, and then when we get back, I have some throwback stuff. So I'll get that uh, queued up here for us. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Let me, did I end the poll? I think I did end the poll already. Uh, I could probably make it, I could probably think of another one for you guys. Um, that would be a good one. Do you think that Heather and Xavier stay together uh, for the rest of this month? I think they'll make it to the end of July. Or, um, we'll stay together April. Yeah. I think they will if they made it this far. But I want to know what you guys think. Uh, let me... I'm just going to close this other thing out here. So we'll be rocking and rolling. Why did I name this Chonk? It's not... That ain't right. That ain't right. Okay, let's get rid of Chonk. All right. I will be back in... A quick shake of a rabbit's tail. I got to bust speed up real quick. So I'll be like two or three minutes. Um, and then I don't know what she's doing here. She's in a, a fancy hat. She's got some red going on. Very bougie. Bougie. I don't have any cute animals either. I'm sorry. Um, but I will be back. Just a second.
What? Okay. Um, I closed the window. I closed the window for the other one, but I did see. I grabbed the I grabbed the thing that she just posted, so I'll pull it up here. But I'm just gonna use the um the other way to do it, like the uh this way. I'm just gonna put it up over here. Um, I also have to resize everything. Mama Mia, you know, Mama Mia, Mama Mia. Um, so one second here. I also have like some crazy weed right now, which is pretty cool, which is pretty fancy. I paid the hop dollar for it. Um, so this is the thing that she was posted. It's just job references, I think. Um, to whom it may concern, Heather is a very skilled and compassionate home and healthcare worker. And the time she served my family with my father, we found her to be a very trustworthy, hard worker. Uh, she consistently demonstrates strength and kindness in the face of challenges, and I'm confident that she would make a valuable contribution to any family, team, or organization that is fortunate to hire her. Um, just reference one. So I, I've heard some people say before that these are fake references. Other I think we've actually read these before in another stream. Um, and another letter of recommendation. Uh, please, God, pray for me. You think you shout up? And then there's this. So I, I don't think we watched this one. Actually, but this is from a day ago. So I'll let this play out. This is the newest thing that I've seen. Thank you guys for asking. There's really nothing that I can um, ask for right now. Um, everything is the same. If you'd like to donate, you can do so via Google Pay or Cash App. Um, or e-gift cards are always accepted. Amazon gift cards are my favorite. Um, Unless you're a lawyer, which I'd love. Um, but yeah, I'm just hanging in there. Um, you know, I miss someone and, and I miss a few someone, you know. So when you guys are asking what, you know, is going on, just, just know that I'm separated from people who I love. And what would you do if you were missing someone, you know, that's, really the only support I can ask for. So thank you guys so much for everything and for all your concerns. And then I did a little investigation work because she's always, this is this is the Muse Energy thing. So I clicked on it to see what it was. Can you support it? And apparently it's just, it's this, it's just like a filter. Muse Energy effect. It's a filter, guys. That's what Muse Energy is. But remember, she's like, this is Heather Gillespie. I'm representing myself in this case with Muse Energy. And I was like, what the fuck is Muse Energy? This is what it is, apparently. <laughs> you would have figured. So I said, of course, she's going to throw that in there. That's irrelevant to the court case. Um, okay, yeah, so that's that's it. Uh, I poked around her page a bit more. It's just like the kids, like post a picture of her kids. So I don't really want to show that for no reason. Um, so we'll switch over to Crazy Train's fancy video from a couple months ago with the greatest hits of all time. Um, I don't think I've seen, I don't I remember seeing this at least. Uh, this is like halfway through. I just picked a, I just picked a fancy spot in it for us. I never put my hands in your bag. So keep your fucking hands out of my bag. Why is this difficult? What did she say? Keep your shit out of my bag? What the fuck? I don't even know how I can do a filter. Can I do filters? Uh, do you think that Heather and Xavier will stay apart or stay together until April? And this is like another half and half thing. Let me see if I can figure out how to do beauty. <laughs> it's so simple. Yeah. I know. It's absolutely ridiculous. And they know exactly what they're doing. And they're supposed to be people in positions of authority to help people. They're not. They're trashy like, as fuck. And they have the nerve to say something about someone because they have no money. 
well, the only reason I have no money is because you stole it all from me. Yeah, it, I was just, I was rich, minding my own business, sleeping on the street. So you came along and stole my money from me. Crazy people. Yeah. Come on, guys. Jeez. <laughs> what the fuck? How about you return what you've taken from me? How about that? How about you put me back in my apartment? How about that? How about you fucking have a conscience? Sure, the microphone is really bad. Let me put it up for you guys. <laughs> see, see if you guys can hear it better. Um, but her microphone is pretty bleh in this one. Let's, let's try that. That should be good. For one second. But to summarize for anyone else who couldn't understand her, she was basically saying, like, I only don't have money because you stole all my money from me. And keep your shit out of my bag. I keep my shit out of your bag. I think now she's burning sage. With orange peels. It's am girls. Women and men. I'm so sick of these extreme feminists. Like, oh, men, blah, blah, blah. No, fuck you, bitch. No one should be victimized sexually. Not a man, not a woman, not a child. Okay, I have to go around and look. She is separated from her kids because she is not an adequate parent. For someone with a she lives in a tent with a crack. <laughs> you know, not the best living situation. A food processor. Um, <laughs> I'll be back. Really good leg day. Feeling super strong. It was really hard, harder than I planned. I wanted to do 20 reps. What is this? She looks like a, where is she? Like this is a huge, oh, maybe Planet Fitness. In each set and for three sets. With a ring light though? Where is she actually? No go. And once I got to 10 or 11 in each set, I was like, no. <laughs> So I stopped and did a little balance exercise and then um, turned it into six sets, five or six sets of 10 to 13 per exercise. Um, but I still did a really good job. I'm really proud of myself. Good leg day. Hope you guys had a good day too. I'm about to make falafel. Oh shit, the falafel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is like, this turns crazy, bro. I remember the falafel. Um, so this is the beginning. I really hope that all of the falafel journey is in here. This is a good one. <laughs> so first time making homemade falafel. I got all this shit in a bag. I am currently in the middle of shooting some content for um, a dance, not video, but compilation that I'm doing um, that really evokes components of acknowledging your shadow, whatever that looks like, and finding a way to live with, work with, um, and even love your shadow. And <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Live with, live with, work with, and maybe even love your shadow. I never even thought about my shadow, bro. Like, if you're that, what the fuck are you talking about? What? And by shadow, what I mean is, more specifically, it's starting out breath. Um, more specifically, what? Um, the parts of you that you may be completely in love with, but that you conceal um, in fear, or maybe you've been judged in the past, or- Guilty pleasures? Is that what she's talking about? Is now a metaphor, your shadow is a metaphor for guilty pleasures? Or um, you have a relationship with someone who does not like certain parts of you, or maybe if you think it's weird, um, Everyone has, you know, different things, right? Some people like to drink wine. So <laughs> what? What is happening? Some people like to drink wine. Why is her voice sound so much different back then? Some people vape. Some people like to dance around. Some people, you know, like to, who knows what, date other people, you know, that aren't fans. Yeah, opposed to dating yourself because... That's always a girl. What is she? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Of monogamous relationships. Some people are gay or lesbian. Some people are, you know, whatever it is. Um, and when I'm speaking on the shadow, I want to be super clear that this is not a negative reference. It's just a part of us 
that follows us around. It's a part of who we are and it's a part that we make intentional attempts at concealing for whatever reason. Um, you know, I personally gained a hundred pounds with my third pregnancy. I was so lacking in self-confidence and concerned with my body image, um, uncomfortable in bathing suits, um, uncomfortable in a lot of social situations, just uncomfortable in general. And so I got up and I went to the gym and I started working out and I started eating healthier and I did everything in my power to build my body, my mind, my confidence, and I feel good. Strangers online um, have been really nasty and mean about my body image. So I feel great about it. I feel fantastic, happy, sexy, healthy, strong. But others have made comments and I've been in a position of not being strong enough to not care. Um, all my fans, as well as Instagram, as well as TikTok, as well as Twitter, as well as Facebook, what okay, how long can we go on about the shadow and how life is just mean and unfair and there's bullies online? They're gonna sick uh oh, gonna sick Allah after them. Is it Allah or Allah? Allah? I don't know. I shouldn't get that wrong. It's a little more risky than what was the other thing I was getting wrong? Baja Blast. <laughs> I'm a little safer getting Baja Blast wrong. These platforms give us the opportunity to showcase ourselves in whatever way we'd like. It's okay to, to love the way you look. It's okay to be confident. It's okay to put on a bathing suit and still be abstinent, not want to have sex, promiscuous, and have sex with a few people. I've heard a lot of people see women wearing bathing suits, see women, you know, wearing thongs or tight dresses. I thought she was going to be dancing around in the chair, guys. I didn't know this was going to be a TED talk on the shadow being a metaphor for a whole bunch of nonsense. And they say, well, if she's worried about rape, she's asking for it. If she's worried about sexual abuse, she's asking for it. She's promiscuous. She's a hoe. Do you know that I know many, many women and men who dress up and don't have sex? They, she sounds like Rachel and Rhea right now. Maybe, and this was me before, I was, there was a time in my life when I didn't even know that porn or like Sports Illustrated was like a normal part of most men's lives. There was a time when I was dating someone and found out that he consumed this type of content and I was devastated about it. That wasn't because I felt like he didn't love me or he loved me any less. It was because I hated the way my body looked and I didn't want him to need something that I couldn't give him and go outside of our relationship for. So rather than being judgmental or nasty or mean, when someone reaches a level of confidence with your body image, if you feel that, I, I speak on this feeling a lot, quite frequently. What did you do though? Did you like throw a, a lamp at him or something when he found his porn stash? Did you light it on fire? Did you like make him sleep in the car? If you feel that little burning in your chest, that little jealous or angry or guilty feeling when making a comment or consuming some content, don't don't beat yourself up about it. Don't consider yourself as being wrong or right. Just take another look because that could be the spark that shoots you, that propels you into your own transformation, be it of the mind, the body, the soul, whatever. Heather would be an interesting Sims character. Like, what would you think if you're, you just saw your Sims character with the light, the shadow, the big shadow in a chair, just rah, 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 filming themselves? You know, what, what the fuck are they doing? Um, I love you guys so much. Like I said, DMs open. Um, and don't be too hard on yourselves. Uh, oh, a lot of people have been asking me to show my stomach and, and like legs without posing. So here it is. Without, that's a pose. What do you mean without posing? Like, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We're perfectly imperfect, bitches. I love you guys. Have a great day. Let me wind back. Okay, well, well this is like more along the other I recognize. Because this is shit they don't want you to know. Hey, believe that. Okay, I believe it. Oh my God, it's so fucking corrupt. This is such a corrupt ass situation. It's so sick. Give me one second. 
If you could see what I have been here through this morning alone, it's like a torture chamber, literally. It's like a fucking torture chamber. It is ridiculous. Um, they disabled my security camera from my apartment, but yet yeah, they have cameras right there. Ah, I remember this one. This is a good one. That's weird, right? Yeah, it's pretty weird. They're trying to catch people in sexual positions, low-key, doing weird shit. They come in my house and fuck on my bed. Who behaves that way? The people in your head. The, 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 no one around here. Who goes into someone's house, breaks open their door, takes it off the hinges, enters their apartment? Who does that? Anything for views did that to Edwin Costa. Who raised you? Now you're going to take my children, my three children, my three innocent children, my babies, my kids who were raised to have respect, to have manners, to, to be polite. Maybe other was like, I miss the days when my kids were taken. I want to have another kid get taken from me. Let's, uh... I thought for a hot second she was going to have the kid in the tent because like, was like, she already had three kids. She knows how to have a kid. I mean, she'll just have the kid in the tent, see if she can raise it. That'd be really scary, though. I'm glad that didn't happen. Um, that kid would be dead, and that would be really bad. Uh, then we might feel a bit guilty because we could be like, well, we probably could have done something a bit more, even though I'd feel guilty because I tell you guys not to call people on Heather all the time and shit. Well, not all the time, but I don't encourage that at all um anyways i'm just glad that the kid is like safe so um but I, heather's a crazy person she shouldn't be, she shouldn't be having kids she should get her life together to be generous to be caring to be compassionate and you're gonna take them and keep them separate from me and isolate them from each other and their mother and then isolate their fathers you're going to teach my kids that it's right to do all this predatory, exploitative shit. How? Oh, you're, you're teaching the kids, you're sending the kids down and be like, all right, kids, it's time to learn how to be a predator. You're going to hold me away from them and teach them to do wrong and then try to hold them accountable when they do? I'm disgusted. I am absolutely disgusted. And let me explain why this is happening. Because the PD, the FBI, and myself. Okay. This is like what? A three-way relationship? What's happening here? A love triangle? Have all been kind of in this situation together. Love triangle. That's what I got out of it. Where rather than anyone accepting responsibility for what, how they fucked up, because they fucked up, they fucked up big, and you could see it anywhere in my recap. And please believe everyone who has something nasty to say. I wonder if Heather's recap was in the debriefing. That someone fucked up, either the police or the FBI, and they, I don't know if they even are aware of Heather's recap, but she's got the facts, she's got the receipts, guys. Has been paid off to say it. It's the truth. They have built teams of people since the, the taping of Love After Lockup. They have built teams of people whose only job is to destroy my character. Bull cut gang. To follow me around my neighborhood. To chase me. To leave stuff in my car. To steal from my apartment. To cut your hair and steal your makeup, right? I haven't spoken to my children now in four days. I don't know where they are. I am worried. I am very worried. I have reported sexual abuse. I have reported trafficking of myself. Me being trafficked by someone else. Me being knocked unconscious with liquid G and raped. My home being robbed. Too many times to count to too many agencies to count. I would not live at that house if that kept happening to me. 
I mean, probably after the second time. You know, if it happened to me the first time, I'd be like, well, that's fucking crazy. That's never happened to me before. That's probably like a one-time thing, right? But if it happened to me twice at the same place, I'd be like, I'm not living here anymore. Like, fuck this. Uh, Heather is like, I just, that just keeps happening. And I, I don't do anything. No one comes. No one helps. No one even addresses the situation at all whatsoever. Like if it never happened, no big deal, right? Oh, just another dumb bitch getting robbed and raped and treated and her kids getting exploited. No worries. Going on with your situation. I can't fucking take it anymore. Back the fuck up off me. Leave me alone. And then you're just punished. You're subsequently punished for doing what they forced you to do for Right? Mud Pit, that's a great point. If all these things are happening to her, why would she want to subject the kids to this fucking death trap house? <laughs> right? I'm not safe. There's a bunch of bad ah, bleh, bad, bunch of bad shit happening. I don't want my kids to be in the custody of their fathers who have a good support system um, and obviously love them enough to have like accept custody of them. A lot of... Uh, dads would be deadbeats and be like fuck that shit i don't care about the kid not even tell the mom where they are and then go into the system or whatever so like i don't know man heather is uh not logical that's for sure for what for what they backed you up against the wall and sometimes quite literally raped you in the ass i'm exhausted i got woken up at 5 30 in the morning um by this bullshit dealing with it all morning ever since i've been calling every resource that got in the court system i don't even acknowledge the comments anymore it's all feds anyone in the comment is a fed so that's a that's a james is it it's they're all feds if you're one of my if you're anyone else other than the, other than like if you're my friend or someone like that just anyone in the comment did you guys hear about like uh p diddy being a fed and P. Diddy probably going to jail. P. Diddy's like, <laughs> yeah, kind of like the Jeffrey Epstein of music, maybe, perhaps, allegedly. Let's block them from your page. Trust me. I use this for documentation only. Yeah, would you guys want to look into P. Diddy? I never liked P. Diddy. <laughs> I, I have no time for this fucking corruption, bullshit, exploitation. I'm not the one. Um, have you guys heard of trap teams where they get people together to attack other people and frame other people? And have you heard of that? No, I've never. Heard, have you guys heard of that? I've never heard of that. Sounds interesting. Why is it playing? There That's you. what the fuck has been going on around me. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why. I don't know who gave permission. Again, this is probably the 30th place I've lived in in the past th two years because of this. Prior to that, I stayed in one apartment for five or six years with my children. They have forced me out of every place I have fucking lived in. You must be a really important or dangerous person to be targeted in such a way, Heather. What, what do you have that's such a threat? You know what I mean? Or what did you do to somebody for them to have such a, a vengeful grudge against you? Like, it just doesn't make sense any other way. It doesn't make sense at all. But like, I'm just saying, if we were to even believe it, like, you'd have to say you would be the, the difference here. Like, there must be something going on with you if nothing else around you is different or everyone else is saying like, Nothing's changed, Heather. It's you're the one who's changed. And she's like, no, they're stalking me. They're doing this. They're doing that. It's like, no, you're just, I don't know. Something's not clicking. They have taken my children away. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. See, like, there is also a lot of fucking bad parents out there and a lot of people like this, probably worse than Heather, that fall through the cracks, keep their kids and everything. But is it because Heather was on Love After Lockup and then got kind of like a following and decided to start broadcasting her life that 
she started having repercussions happen to her. Like if she was doing this, not on social media, like just being crazy or whatever, would her kids have gotten taken away? You know, um, if no one knew that she was living in the tent this whole time and was pregnant and she went into like the Chicago hospital and had the kid, would they have had a DCFS there? You know what I mean? So I think she's her own worst enemy. Uh, to be honest, you should probably just get the fuck off social media. All this like documentation of evidence is like evidence against her. It's not for her. What possible benefit could exist from calling an individual crazy? Who's oh, they got taken away pre love after lockup. Well, then I, bro, like, then yeah, she's just like a bad parent. Clearly not crazy. Who's showing plain black and white proof? that they're being harassed, followed, robbed, and raped over and over. What the fuck is wrong with you? How many phone calls to the feds do I have to post? How many police reports do I have to post before someone walks up to me and says, is everything okay? Can we get, you know, what's going on here? Um, understand everyone in the comments is not only made, they're also charged. Accessories, all of them. And if you guys don't believe that, try going back to last week when this happened and see if you see any repeat comments because all those profiles have already been arrested. I said about 30 times, I want no one charged. They asked me, do you want anyone charged? No, I don't want anyone charged. Why wouldn't you want? <laughs> Are you... I don't know who she's referring to specifically. Are you talking about you don't want anyone in the comment section charged, or like you just want don't want anyone charged in general? Because that sounds fucking stupid. Like I thought you wanted people charged. Now that my father, thank you for the one ninety nine super sticker. Um, I think I saw, I think I saw something else too. Oh, thank you for also becoming a member. Uh, I I did see something go by and I forgot. I was ranting or something. I was reading something. Um, but I appreciate you. Thank you. I want everyone to just be free. I just want it to stop. That's what I said. And guess what happened? The next day I woke up and $100 cash was missing. Game over. From my fucking nightstand and my boots were stolen. More drama this morning. More setups. Here's the line in. What what's the line? There's the line in. Not okay with this. I don't accept this. I want it to stop immediately and I want everyone involved charged. Xavier and I are up significantly for the day. Okay. I don't, I've never heard of someone awakening. We we are up significantly for the day. Xavier, do you want to be on camera? Yeah. My It looks like it's nighttime out. So basically, um, I'm going to do my makeup and release my hair for photo shoot number two. Fix my broken nail. Xavier's going to go across the street to Walgreens and grab me a water bottle and um, and, a, and a rain, a rain energy drink. And I am going to... Get ready for my photo shoot, and then after that photo shoot, I'm letting loose the braids and doing a third photo shoot for the day. All right, Xavier, I'm tweaking. Where is Xavier? Oh shit, he did say that. He said I'm tweaking. Xavier's tweaking. Ah oh, man, I wish I was around for these times. God damn it. Coming on your DVD unless you're using a fish lens. Zibba the day. Something about a camera lens. We're in the rain. It's just journal 
this out. Let's journal this out. Is that when they were standing under the awning in the rain and they were asked to leave because Xavier's tweaking? And then she's like, it's targeted harassment. I was too busy with James. You're right. James is a fucking... When James comes back, he comes back hard. Like, I, I like when he's gone. Like, right now, it's good. I wish he was in jail, to be honest. But, you know, I can't... Uh, Always get what you wish for. But uh, he, basically, he takes up like all my time when he's around. Now let's make a plan. I'm going to journal this out. It's all good. We're going to journal this shit out. God. What? Is this? She, does she put this in herself? What? Why is she? <laughs> this is just, 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 just. It's me, Heather. I'm so sorry to bother you again, but I'm going to have to <laughs> did she do that did, crazy where's is crazy train here crazy train are these your edits or is heather just going crazy i'm gonna fuck brian up i'm gonna fuck What is this? What are we watching? Des. Des, how you doing? I hope you're having a great Friday. It's Friday. Woo -woo. Um, you're just a little late. It's okay. This is uh throwback stuff. Okay, put down the brush. Put down the brush. What the fuck is this, though? Like, this is, like, what you would find on a serial killer's, like, camcorder in the woods. And you'd be like, I don't know what this is. This isn't going to help us solve the case. But we're dealing with someone crazy. Like, that's what it feels like to me. It's Belinda. Put down the brush. And I just, I can't, it's like, I don't even know who to call, what, who, how. There's just no... How are you doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> is she like, is she pretending to be TD? Pretending to be her? Is this the Twilight Zone right now? How are you doing? Is my head getting from brain enlargement from thinking too much i am gonna i'm gonna be really sick one day i'm gonna have like a fever and then this is just gonna be playing in my brain and i'll be like remember that time i gonna be like sending people voice memos and be like remember that time where heather's brain was growing <laughs> what is that oh god she did some stop that i just want to look at this is it cheese and a rock or is it two rocks? What is this? Okay, so wow, what the fuck happened to your eyebrows, Heather? These are the brows right now and then i'm gonna do this look that i copied from one of these makeup influencers um using the cinnamon swirl by two-piece what do you have written on your walls oh my god i don't know what it says slipknot it doesn't say slipknot Same thing on the other eye. And I like to put the lightest color like a lot in the little corner of the eye because um, having a lighter color in your in the corner of your eye makes it like pop out. Her dry brushes look scary like this though. Is this what her eyebrows are like or is, are they, um, did she draw them in more? Are, is there such thing as eyebrow liners? <laughs> And 
I mix um toasted with love the bun you're with? I wish I was toasted. No, I'm just kidding. So bam, 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 bam. Fantastic. Um, and then lastly, we're going to use sugar. What is Heather's ambitions and goals in life? Do you, I, like, I'm starting to wonder now. Because like, I thought she thought she was just like making things happen from the tent. But she must have had some actual ambitions or goals, right? Maybe she just wants to raise her kids. I mean, um, I don't know, man. The rush. Just in the inner corner. And for this one, I need to change brushes because it is a really, really light color. We spray the brush with a setting spray just to moisten it a little bit. And then use um, Stay Current, which is this dark, like, purplish, to line the eye. And then I also love Food Court as my under eye eyeliner on top of Stay Current. I'm super dramatic and weird like that. That's kind of like a louder um, vibe, the light purple and the dark purple, but I love it. Dark and light purple are the favorite colors on my eyes. I know they're not, like, everyday makeup mostly for most people, but I absolutely love them together. I don't have a problem with police i have a problem with filing over 20 plus police reports for victimizations including rape robbery assault with a deadly weapon two times and more. are these like little post-it notes others hang handing out with zero follow-up intervention or assistance i don't have a problem with working hard to accomplish my goals i have a problem with being stalked and bullied out of 16 jobs since june of 2020 in multiple states human trafficked and sexually assaulted I don't have a problem with working as a team. I have a problem with being victimized, victim shamed, silenced, scapegoated, misrepresented, and set up and lied to. I don't have a problem with doing my part. I have a problem with being oppressed. Yeah, they are like little cheat sheets, you're right. <laughs> So it's been super stressful for the past about uh, three years since Dylan came out. You guys know if you've been following the story the entire time, I stayed loyal, loving, and committed to a man for almost five years while he served a prison sentence. Um, and then he came home and cheated on me with a girl who robbed my house. Was that Marissa? Um, so and left me took my house took my car took my everything all my money well he didn't take it but he destroyed my car and took my house so somehow after being independent since 14 i saw myself in a very desperate situation so i'm back to canvas what is this if you guys remember uh, when all this first began, when I was first unlawfully thrown out of my home in 2019, uh, I started publishing some business cards uh, with the Merciful Storm website and myself a number at the time and my name, my legal name, Heather Gillespie. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. I've already circulated about 2,000 of these in the Wicker Park neighborhood, the Gold Coast. I'm now doing South Loop and River North areas. Check it out. Why is it frozen? Show love. Love you guys. I don't, well, what's happening here? Why don't we see? All right, there we go. What are you doing, Heather? Why are you look? What is this? I'm still not a part of this world. We're having hummus, cucumber, chips, sandwiches, Italian sandwiches. Italian sandwiches? I miss my kids. So we woke up this morning. That's a look. Yeah, on this um, very secluded, uh, but also heavily and densely populated uh, mound of grass. That's a very descriptive mound of grass as well. Covered in various native trees and other greenery that we are so happy to experience. We have a waterfront view, uh, you know, just far enough to not fall in, but close enough that if the wind picks up, we can get a little bit of the salty breeze of the lake water mixed with lake water. She read travel reviews. <laughs> Where are you right now? Just in like a fucking public park, I'm assuming. And it's fantastic. We are just absolutely ecstatic. Right? Okay, Ashley, she's just leaving a review. ...to be here again. 
today. Um, I'll give you a, a beautiful POV shot. It's a beautiful art Xavier's museum. point of view. No, I'm just kidding. We don't do sex. What? You don't do sex? How did the fuck did you get pregnant twice then? After that, with all the struggle that I've done from that time. Uh, what kind of fucking camera angle is this? It's probably the worst that life has been. So, just little FTR. If you have anything to do with this, I hope you fucking die and burn in hell. So these are all of the people who have witnessed me being, uh, again, discarded for this is the fourth day. Discarded. Police, no help. Court refuses to issue a court date. Rain, a uh, national human sex trafficking hotline between friends, domestic abuse survivor hotlines, and many others have offered no assistance. And I have been raped, robbed, stabbed, etc., after being extorted 2015. What if all these people are just trying to enjoy their nice day on the beach and Heather Gillespie's just off in the fucking middle of the beach be like, all these people, all these people they know, they were witnesses to my abuse. And a lot of them have been here the entire time. Please compare notes. They've been here the whole time. Since 2015, they've been here. Oops. They all need to be punished. They all need to be punished? This dude is just trying to fucking work construction or something. Four days outside, my entire bin of clothes stolen, all my shoes stolen. Murdered them all. Why is Xavier at a different table than you? Just to look at everyone's faces. It's like they can't stand to see me doing anything enjoyable. So rather than falling back and leaving me to my own devices. Why is she? She looks like Janis Joplin outside of Chase Bank. What is this? They stalk us, Xavier and I. And try to say stuff. I checked on the kids. Xavier went to work. Went to work? Xavier's working at Chase Bank. Is he robbing Chase Bank? What the fuck? I put up some sticky notes with my Instagram. Yeah. What? They're just living outside Chase Bank? Bro, what? When was this arc? When the fuck? Is this when you worked at Pizza Pizza? And she lived outside Chase Bank? And I'm going to do a self-care day here on this dude bad cheese bank. You're going to do a, a... Could you imagine going in to do bank stuff? Like get approved for a mortgage and you see Heather Gillespie outside just the bank in a fucking picnic top. What the hell is it? A picnic towel? Doing her makeup on Instagram Live? the fuck? Just still sitting in the same spot. Documenting the same shit. Going on and on. So with the exception of being used for sex blatantly, I've never experienced such a degrading feeling, an inhumane feeling as being left outside to sleep forgotten feeling like no one gives a fuck was that just her planned i'm just gonna sleep outside chase bank until someone brings me in rich people go to the bank right what the someone needs to explain this fucking bank arc yeah i, I don't know why i think that's more crazy than the tent because it is more crazy than the tent wow dirty there's nowhere to shower so i glammed myself up a bit like how did it even get to the point where she had a fucking blanket laid out why wasn't there security telling her to get the fuck out of there it's been three nights consecutively outside and you guys know that for the past three years this has been an ongoing situation for me um that all started with the stabbings in 2019, uh, again, I've never been a victim of any sort of physical assault prior to Dylan's release.
That's Heather? <laughs> this wasn't even that long ago. This is 2022. I really, I, I wish I was here for the fucking Chase Bank days. Okay. Go. <laughs> scrappy is a scrappy does i don't know what all this is but i gotta wrap this up i gotta wrap this up guys i'm sorry um but that is well well that's heather from this weekend a little bit of throwback um welcome to the weekend guys welcome to the weekend so tomorrow uh we'll do more what's the thing we were doing the other day who the fuck did i marry we'll do more of that um i got like two other people that i want to cover um there's this crazy guy there's this crazy kyle guy it's kyle where his mom's boyfriend tried to kill him, like shoot him in the head, but it grazed his ear and he did not die. And I thought that would be it. I was like, that was just a crazy video that happened. But then um, his mom was found dead in the same uh, hotel as him, like a couple weeks after. Apparently he didn't kill her, but like he was kind of bragging about killing her. Um, and he ended up being part of this like satanic cult. That's also like a pedophile. Right? Um, and now he's getting arrested and charged for that. So like that was like, I don't know, a bunch of twists and turns. So I want to look more into that guy. Um, and then who was the other person? There was some other person. I forget now. It might have been who the fuck did I marry? <laughs> but either way, we'll do who the fuck did I marry? Um, also, there, if you remember, there, we did do the cop thing tomorrow. Uh, we got to finish... The rest of that crazy guys cop thing. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for to everyone who um, did super chats or became a member. I super appreciate you. Thank you, Moon Baby. Thank you, The Creamore. Uh, thank you, VC Wants a Pony. Beth uh, Bugar. Bo Bugar. <laughs> really bad. Beth, thank you. Not without my father. Thank you as well. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing night. Take care, guys. And my buttons don't work. <laughs> Bye.